Yo, what up everyone, it's your boy Alter Tech trying out the AR emojis from the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So here we have to install and uninstall these tempered glass screen protectors. Now these are different. These require some UV light and some Loca glue. So we couldn't find anywhere to install this, so we ended up doing this in Burger King in New York City with my boy Vanch. This is actually his phone. So let's go ahead and get into it real quick. So to uninstall it, all you need is like, I would recommend a playing card or like a Metro card. So I'm using my Metro card and I am working my way on the edges. So the first thing you wanna do is start from one corner and then just work yourself around the edges. Now, this one came off pretty easily because the un the installation process before this, my boy didn't do a good job, people, but it is what it is, you know, and I'm here to actually redo this for him. And I was so close to perfection, but you guys are gonna see my mistake and maybe you could learn from it. So the first thing you guys gotta do is make sure this phone is spotless. Now, if you're removing it, you know, you're gonna have some some residue on the glass, or if this is your first time installing a tempered glass with some loca glue and stuff, UV light, just make sure there's no dust, make sure there's no grease, there's nothing on this display, make sure it's spotless. Like how your mom wants your room clean, spotless. That's what you guys, that's your should be your main goal. So I'm here wiping it down. I'm going to spend a good time wiping it down with this rubbing alcohol. And there's nothing much to see here. And then I'm going to take that lymph cloth after I just, you know, scrub the crap out of this phone. And I'm just going to keep wiping it. I am a perfectionist, people. So here we have the local glue. I'm trying to figure out which side is which. Now this, listen, people, there's some companies selling these tempered glass screen protectors for like the kits for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 40 bucks, even 35 bucks. But I'm getting these, I'm finding these on eBay for about 10 bucks, 15 bucks the most. And some of them, I recommend ship, getting it shipped out from the US. If you get it from China, you're probably gonna get it broken because some of them don't really you know, put some good packaging on it. So make sure and try to get it from somewhere local, maybe like California or something from a good reseller with some good ratings. Anyways, let's continue the video. So basically all you need is some local glue and a UV light and some good cleaning skills. So the first thing you gotta do, people, is make sure you're on a leveled surface. So I'm in Burger King, home of the Whopper Jr. And so I'm dropping down some of these, uh, I'm dropping down the glue in the middle of the display. Sometimes they give you too much glue, like in this case, they gave me too much glue. My instinct was like, hey man, this is enough tempered glass glue for this project. But I'm like, you know what, what if I'm wrong? So I ended up using every last drop of this and now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take your tempered glass screen protector and this be very careful people you gotta line this up because there is no mistakes involved don't overthink it don't work don't stress it just make sure the glass is on top it's, it's where you want to be so as for me it was a little bit too far down so i'm pushing it slightly just slightly a little bit upwards a little bit not covering the mic the speakers up on top be sure you don't get any glue on top of that speakers and i do recommend you guys getting some scotch tape or some kind of tape to just tape up that speakers as for me i'm a professional at doing this this is probably like my 15th time so from check this out there's no bubbles there's nothing everything is going according to plan but i did mess up i'll teach you guys how i messed up in a bit so let this cure out make sure it spreads i would say give it a minute two minutes until there's no bubbles. And as you guys can see, now the secret for this, like I said, for getting no bubbles is for how you place your glass down on top. Make sure you just, you know, drop it. And number two, make sure there's no, nothing, no debris or dust particles, nothing to create those air bubbles. So step number three was to break out the UV light. So I would recommend you guys starting from the fingerprint sensor and then working your way up. Now for this time, you're supposed to cure it for about 15 seconds on the top and on the bottom. And you're supposed to, once you start curing it, all the excess glue is going to start seeping out from the sides. And this is where I messed up. I didn't wipe it off. So all those glue that's actually, you know, running down on the sides, it got kind of pretty hard. And then you had to take like, maybe like a box cutter or something and just kind of scrape it off a little bit. So that was my mistake. So let this cure for about 15 seconds on the top and on the bottom, and then you wipe off anything that's dripping on the edges. 
And once you have that wiped off, now you can go ahead and cure the top, the middle, and the bottom. I would say like a minute each, just to be on the safe side, people. Just to be on the safe side. That may be, might be a little bit too much, but just to be on the safe side, that's what I do. So here, here I messed up, man. I'm like, oh crap. I should have wiped off the excess glue earlier, but now it's kind of hard, but it is what it is. So let me go ahead and fast forward. I'm trying my best to wipe off all that excess glue, but if I had done so, this would have been a perfect installation. I was so close, but overall, it was a great success. And this is me trying to pick it out. And as a result, a little tiny air bubble formed where I was trying to pick it out. So damn, so close people, I was so close. So I recommend you guys, if you do have a tempered glass screen protector, like from one of those expensive companies, please keep the UAV lights. You're going to use that for other installations. Just go ahead and check out eBay. There are tons of cheaper, more affordable tempered glass screen protectors that work with local glue. And they feel very premium. The one I have right now, it feels very premium. Similar to the ones that cost 50, 60, yeah, 40 bucks. So anyways, people, this is Alter Tech on how to uninstall and install those tempered glass screen protectors that works with the UV light and the local glue. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I have, you know, a lot of time on my hands for you guys. And I like helping people. And I hope you guys smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for some more videos. Anyways, people, this is Alter Tech signing out. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace. Okay. Hey, come on, Samsung. 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 P. Okay. Now I was having trouble finding my face. I'm not actually sure why, but anyways, peace.